This is what I don't want for you this year. I don't want you to set a goal to be fit and healthy in 2022, only to fail by February. I don't want you to think that you have to change your whole life to achieve that goal either. Basically, the goal here is to get you in the best shape of your life in 2022. And if you're with me, then let's jump right into this video. And the number one thing that you need to stop doing, or start doing, stop doing, stop procrastinating. All right, the thing about getting fit is that the sooner you start, this journey, the sooner you're gonna get there, right? Mainly because it takes some time to see the results. You can't just drop 20 to 30 pounds in a day. You know, you can't get a six pack or grow massive biceps by working out a couple of times. It's a process and it's gonna take a few weeks for you to even see the first glimpse of change. So it's not easy, right? So you start to think of that. You're like, ah, oh, it's gonna take a while. I'm not gonna see the results by tomorrow. I'll just wait but it's actually the opposite. For that reason, most people either quit early on or they don't even start. That's why the gym is packed, right? Right now in January, it's packed. And then by February, it's like back to normal. Everyone's gone, those quitters are gone. So if you wanna get fit for summer of 2022, I highly recommend you start today. You don't have to go to a gym or do a full workout today, but start moving, go outside for a jog, ride your bicycle, you know, play your favorite sport. That all counts. Number two, understand that this is a lifestyle. You know, being healthy, being fit, this is a lifestyle. So you can't just work out a few times a week, you know, and then eat junk every day and, and then expect to see some massive results. Like, it doesn't happen like that. You get just as much as you put into it. So if you're working out three times a week, for example, it's great, it's a great start. Your body will start to change. But if you work out properly five times a week, then you get faster and better results. If you add a healthy and balanced diet on top of that, then you get even faster, even better results. Now, having said that, I don't expect you to just quit everything cold turkey. For example, if you really love cookies, if that's your favorite thing in the world, cookies are good, I get it. You know, don't tell yourself that I'm never gonna eat cookies again. This year, I'm not eating a cookie even though it's my favorite thing in the world. I say this because you're gonna fail. Give yourself some flexibility, not much, but enough so that you know you have a cheap meal here or there. Otherwise, you're gonna have a miserable life. You're gonna hate this healthy lifestyle because cookies are amazing, right? Everyone deserves a cookie once in a while, I get it. And just real quick, if you're enjoying this video, please do me a quick favor, just hit that like button and subscribe. This is a safe space for us guys to talk about men's fashion, hair, grooming, health, fitness, and so much more. It's my job to help you live a better life and hopefully, I'm doing okay at it. If I am, hit that subscribe button below because I would love to have you here in the YouTube family. Number three, challenge yourself. Now, I've noticed that a lot of people work out just to work out. They only do what they have to do and as soon as they're done, they are gone, right? You need to challenge yourself, to challenge your body. That's where the change is going to happen. That's where you lose weight, that's where you gain muscle. It's by challenging yourself. A good way to kickstart the new year is by setting up a personal challenge. I, for example, use my fitness tracker, Whoop, to challenge myself. My personal goal is to average an 11 point strain per week. Now, Whoop sponsored today's video, and if you follow me, then you know that I've been wearing my Whoop for 478 days straight. I haven't missed a single day, so this is always on me my wrist or bicep, or now they have it like in your underwear and your shirt and your shorts. What I love the most about my Whoop is the fact that it gives me two very important pieces of information. One, my daily strain, which I just mentioned. This is how active I am during the day. The more active, the more strain you're going to see. So my goal is to hit an 11 day strain average this month. And you can see that my last month, I only hit a 7.8. The holidays really got to me. But you know, it's the holiday. The second thing I love about this device is that it tells me everything about my sleep and how recovered I am in the morning, every morning. So it shows me exactly how many hours of sleep I'm getting every night, how rested I am in the morning. And with that information, I can then adjust my lifestyle to get the right amount of recovery. It will tell me every night, hey Alex, you know, you had a large amount of strain today. So you need eight hours of sleep to be fully recovered tomorrow. Or, hey Alex, you had a pretty easy day today, my dude. Low strain, so you can go to bed at this time to get six and a half hours of sleep. That's all you need tonight to feel good tomorrow. Your phone tells you how much battery you have left, your computer does, right? And my Whoop, it pretty much does the same thing for me and my body. You know, that type of data to me is so valuable. It reads my body. Uh, it's gonna tell you, you know, your heart rate, temperature, blood oxygen, respiratory rate, it shows you all of that data in real time. 
Plus, my girlfriend Robbie actually loves that I wear my Whoop because it has an alarm that just gently vibrates in the morning, so it wakes me up without a loud, annoying alarm that would wake her up too. And guys, if you click the first link in the description of this video, you get the Whoop device itself for free. So click the first link below, get your Whoop, and start your year off right. Use it to challenge yourself. Also, join my team when you get yours so that we can compare stats and chat. I'll leave a link for my team below as well. Next one on the list, of course, this one is more of a personal choice, but I think it can really help out. That is, watch or listen to a podcast while you're doing cardio, or sometimes, if you can, even while you're working out, when even while you're lifting. Temptation bundling, it's called. It sounds obvious once you think about it, but this is actually really interesting. If you pair an activity that you like, podcasts, for example, right? Or your favorite podcast with something that you really don't like working out. Then all of a sudden, it's almost like you're rewarding yourself, right? You go to work out and you're like, all right, I'm gonna go listen to a podcast. It's not like, ugh, I'm gonna go work out. My body's gonna be sore tomorrow. No, I'm gonna go listen to my favorite podcast and then you're working out. And if I'm watching a podcast on my, on my phone and I'm on the treadmill, I can go forever. Man, I'm there until the podcast is over and then I'm like, oh, all right, it's done, right? But if I'm just paying attention to my run, paying attention to, you know, the timer go down or up, paying attention to the mileage going up, it takes forever, right? You're there like, God, wow, I'm only at 0.8 miles? What is happening here, right? So I think coupling your, your podcast or something that you really enjoy, some type of music or an audiobook with working out can really be beneficial. Next up, this one is massive. And if you can do it, definitely do it. Find a workout buddy. Look, ah, man, I remember the good old days when I went to high school and, you know, I, I used to go to the gym right after high school with my buddies and we would all, you know, work out together, all, like three of us. And it was, it was just such a good time because we would keep each other accountable and we would have fun. We would be chatting about the day, you know, we would be working out. It was a good time. So having a workout buddy is, is key. They can spot you, you can chat, uh, and it's an accountability system. Having said that, if you can't have someone there with you physically to spot you and to help you and to entertain, then virtually actually works too. And we do that in the inner circle, for example, in my exclusive community, right? What happens is you can just basically send a photo of you at the gym to your group chat of your the gym guys, and it kind of keeps you accountable. Hey, I'm here. Are you guys at the gym, right? And they're gonna feel a little bad if they're not there, so they'll go tomorrow. And having a kind of an accountability system is really important when it comes to going to the gym. So even if you do it virtually, I still highly recommend that you do get a workout buddy, somebody that's gonna keep you accountable, someone who's going to the gym, not those flakers, because that doesn't work. You both need to be really honest. Next up, this is a major one. Be on the lookout for excuses. And when you find yourself, and you will find yourself coming up with some BS excuse not to work out, squash it right away. You know, we all have this internal voice, right? Telling us that we're tired, that we're gonna work out extra hard tomorrow, that we should take today off because tomorrow's a new day, we'll be better tomorrow. We all go through this. Stop it. Tell that voice to shut the F up and get started on your workout. Have you ever regretted working out, right? No one thinks, oh man, oh, I wish I didn't work out today. That never happens, right? So why? would you ever listen to that voice? If you don't work out, that's when you regret it, right? That's when regret is like, all right, I'm knocking on your door, I'm right here. You better regret that you did not go to the gym today. Make sure that you squash any negative thoughts, that negative mindset, and any of those excuses that are lame that we all come up with. I do too, and I have to literally fight myself internally until I'm able to go to the gym and crush it and not regret it at all. And number seven is being consistent. Look, consistency is key with everything in life. Consistency is key to having an audience on YouTube, to growing on social media. Consistency is key with working out and being healthy, right? Like I said, you can't just do everything in one day. So you need to keep going, keep at it. Rome wasn't built in a day, you know, it takes a little while. So just trust the process, keep going and your body will change. Also, I just wanna say this here, Remember that being healthy doesn't necessarily mean having, you know, 7% body fat, crazy ripped abs, right? Like massive biceps. Healthy bodies, they come in all different shapes, 
and sizes. So I know, you know, we like to compare ourselves on social media and whatnot, but people are showing their best selves with the best lighting after a huge gym pump. That's when they take a photo. So make sure that you're not comparing yourself too much. You do you, stay on your lane and you will be Fine. And to crush your goals, go check out Whoop. It's the first link in the description below. You get the device itself for free. Join my team. I mean, guys, honestly, I love my Whoop, man. I've been addicted close to 500 days wearing it. Like, it's such an amazing brand and a great product. So go check them out. And you can subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you again very, very soon. I hope that you crush 2022. Peace.